Hello, hola, bonjour, konnichiwa, ni hao, wa, guan, sports, fans, all around the world. Welcome to Emil's talk, well Emil's vlog. And look around people, look around, you see what we're there. Yeah man, so buying a park people, what's going on here? The women's under 17 championship, yeah man, Kanga Cup championship. We're gonna have the under 17 reggae girls versus the under 17 girls over at Panama. Should be an exciting game, people. I am here, people. I'm an hour early. Come just you want, you know. It's a little nice feel up on the ground, you know. Yeah, but the feel is looking, feel is looking, looking alright. It's looking alright. Not looking bad at all. Ah, uh, people. It free, free enough people and look on the stadium. Well, hopefully by the time game start, it's supposed to see more people roll out. But Jano, I expect to see more people seeing that match is free. <laughs> but uh, JFF next time we just have a work on the promoting of the games. How you market the games, you know? I can just fling up on one poster and then expect people to come out. You get me I say so. In the future, them something they have to work on. But people, come on, the girls need more support. But they expect more people for there. But as time progress, I'll show you how the how the support look and how the stadium look and thing. But before me close off the little segment here, I heard something recently. Well, yesterday I heard it that the girls were actually training. The girls were training and midway through the training session like them just lock off on them. Come on. And people might be saying, Emil, you can't blame Sabina Park. You're right, I'm not gonna blame them alone. I blame them on JPS, but as an organization, listen people, I never claim to know it all now. But the few things I know, I can say it. When they talk about organization and management, rule of thumb. Always prepare for the worst. You're telling me it's that buying a park doesn't own a generator, and if they do own a generator, how comes they never kick in? That means they, <laughs> them now maintain the generator. When I expect that, when I expect that, and it looks bad because the girls went out from Panama, the girls from Panama actually trained or went through their sessions before the regular girls. And come on. What for the better than that? That is lackadaisical and poor on their part. So, now make it happen again. It look bad. It look bad. I'm gonna see some videos. I'm put the video in here as well. But yeah man people, it look bad but We're there, we're there people Sabina Park, Jamaica versus Panama Looking forward to it people and Something to note There are a lot of Reina Academy Ballers in this under 17 team here I don't know what Coach Neo and his staff Doing over at Reina's Academy you know? But the man them a cook The man them a cook Talent after talent, and I love to see people. But yeah, man, so checking back with you. Looking forward to the game, man. Yeah, man, see you in a bit.
Yes, man, people, back, back again. Now you might be wondering, why am I not closing out the video at Sabina Park? People, the DJ them are give me a hard, a hard, a hard time, people. A very hard time. As I'm ready to close out the video, no man, I want to play some loud music, so the light them too. Sabina lock off the lights, so when you see the light them start dim, you know, say it's your time to leave the premises. So, yeah, man, people. That me do. I'm back here now, closing out the video. Now, as you know, Jamaica won, Panama won. First 10 minutes, 15 minutes, we looked so good. We were passing the ball, keeping it on the ground, controlling possession. We looked very, very good. But as the game progressed, we kind of dropped off a bit, conceded that goal. What a goal it was. I thought the keeper should have done a bit better. Kind of slipped under her hand. I mean, she should have positioned herself a bit better, but we move. As we go forward now, we won a penalty. One of the Panamanians there handled the ball in the box, and we won a penalty and expertly dispatched by Olivia Ashburn. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. The number 10 for our reggae girls brilliant brilliant player and i believe that she's from the reina's academy people as i said in the beginning of the video i don't i, I don't like to single out but people it's just something that i've been realizing i don't know what they're cooking over at reina's academy but they seem to produce a lot of good players and she's definitely one of them she was a standout another standout that i have an actual note here i took i think four or so girls who i thought were impressed me throughout the game also the number six that's trinity trinity kathy i believe her name is pronounced she also played well in the midfield the number six um destiny powell the captain the number 11 she was electric as well once the ball was at her feet she was looking to make things happen people and a substitute uh, i believe her name was Cassandra Smith, Cassandra Smith, she also came and put in a shift as well, she she looked very solid, solid when she came on, but yeah man people, all in all, I, I believe that the, the weather condition played a, a role in today's result as well, the girls came out very early and they were warming up and they looked ready, looked on fire, ready, but then the rain came down and I'm not sure if the fire that was in them get wet up. <laughs> but all in all, there was fighting spirit in the team and we held on. Trust me people, the Panamanians, these girls are they're so good people. They 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 they, they played well people. The number 10. Anytime she the number 10 for the Panamanian team, anytime she get the ball in the people, I start fretting her car. Anywhere she hold it in a shell, just a boom. Boom! She's not afraid for shoot people. Set piece. She's not afraid for shoot it and it caused the keeper a lot, a lot of problems. But we held on. We even go back to their striker. I believe she wears the number 18 in Panama. Yeah, the Panamanian number 18. Her hold up play. Very good as well. You talk about, I believe it was in the number 12 or 13. She played around the back. No nonsense defending. Every and anything will come around here clearance out out of her life she don't play around the ball game but yeah man people all in all it was a very decent game happy that i came out wish some of you fans did come out as well but people while i was at the game i hear some people calling my name but i wasn't sure i hear i said hey, hey, hey. But, me not, but, but me never sure 
I don't want nobody to think that I style them or I ignore them. I hear it, you know, but I'm just never sure. I don't know if I'm maybe in my mind or I play games with me or what. Because people know me. I never know people know me. I hear people are calling me in a stance, but I never turn them. I don't want it to look like a, this thing. So if only they are calling them, just leave it in the comment section. You see me? But yeah, man, all in all, people, a brilliant game. Hopefully, on Sunday, August the 27th, we should. Or I should expect to see a lot more fans for the return leg. But yeah, man, people, that is the end of the video. Don't forget, like this video, leave a comment, and share this video to as many people as possible. But yeah, man, people, bless up, take care. I just posted the post match interview with Hugh Bradford the reggae girls under 17 coach so definitely check that out bye man people enjoy the rest of your day bye for now